Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, leave the GUI part of things and create ourselves an OpenGL window that we're going to put into our main application and then what we're going to do is to construct it and add it to the layout in this position here. So what we're going to do is go back to the Qt project and I want to add a couple of components. Now first thing Qt plus equals, um, this is going to add to the main Qt libraries that we're using and one of those that comes with it is OpenGL now, if you've got the latest version of Qt Creator, you can actually go into Add Library here and, and add them. But in this case, I'm just going to add here. And we're also going to add to it GUI because it needs all of the different libraries. Now, I've copied into my project directory here in the include a file called GL window and in the source one called glwindow.cpp and these are just to save me doing lots of typing in and I tend to use exactly the same source file each time I, I do this and I just um, modify it so this is a very simple glwindow class which I will demonstrate now so qt gives us this hash include qt opengl and this class inherits from the qgl widget which is presented to us for, with qt and we're creating our own class um, called gl window that inherits all the features of this and basically what we get we've got our constructor and destructor are these three um, protected methods which come from the QGL window we inherit and extend them so the first one is initialize GL this is called once when the window is created and we use this to do all our initial OpenGL setup we have another one called resize GL which is called every time the window is resized and it's passed in the width and height of the new window so we can do our recalculations and um, set our viewing for and everything else and then finally paint GL which is the actual drawing routine this is called immediately after the initialize and the resize are called and then we can force this to be called by calling a method called update GL within our class which typically we put on a timer or make event driven and if we look at the CPP file from this we should see it's a very simple file the GL windows sets the mouse focus uh, sorry, the mouse and the keyboard focus to this window and we resize based on the size of our parent which in this case is going to be our layout we're going to create. Initialize GL setting the clear color and I've enabled depth test. The resize is setting the GL viewport based on the width and the height that are passed in and at present paint GL just clears the screen so all we're going to get basically is a very simple GL window and what I'm going to do next in my main window class is I'm going to hash include gel window and I'm going to add one to my class. Now the first thing I want to do is to name this in accordance with our coding standards. So we've got UI here. What I can do, you see I've clicked on it. Um, if I do MUI there now it should have in my main window.cpp no it hasn't refactored it um, I'll just change that back apple shift r there we go Here's, it brings up the refactor if I go m underscore ui now you'll see that it's found all the instances three there and one there and it will replace all of those for us if I go back to my main window now you see that they've all changed so the basic refactoring in this is quite good so what I'm going to do is add our open gl widget and this is going to be a gl window star m gl like this I should do a quick build just to make sure 
that works. And that's built correctly. So next I'm going to go to my main window. Now this is calling MUI pointed to setup UI, which is um, created by, from the user interface itself. And what I want to do now is to go to this um, our main window class here. So we've got our central widget, and this is our main window, and we've got our S main window grid layout. So I want to add my OpenGL window to this widget here. So if we go back to main window.cpp, I'm going to say um, mgl equals new gl window this. So I've constructed my new gl window. Now from mui pointed to S main window dot grid layout. I'm going to add widget MGL, and what this should do now is to add our MGL window to the um, other window. Only I've done something wrong there, and it's crashed. That's because I haven't told it where. I want to place the widget. No, it's still crashed. I will investigate this. Let's just look at my MUI pointed to add widget 002,3 I had in my previous example. No. It's still crashing. What have I done wrong? Because here's one I prepared earlier. Ah. I've forgotten, I think. GUI and core. That's what I've done wrong. I did a plus equals rather than that. So I'm hoping. Hopefully this is going to build now and not crash. And here we go. So you can see now that this is obscuring my other GUI components because of the size I've told it to be. So if I go back to main window.cpp here. This is because of the size that I've put in here. So the way add widget works is it's add widget, what you want to add, and then it's rows columns and the row span, column span. So if I do 0011, we should now, you see we've got one and one, so we need to add another column span here. So if I change that to two, That's the other column span. That's not what I want. I want one there, and I want two that way. And there it is. And you can see that as I resize both my windows now, everything's working. It's moving correctly. If I go to my geo window, I'm just going to change the clear color just to demonstrate that this is an open gel window and not um, so that should be more red looking window now so that's the open gel clear color doing it so this is our main open gel canvas now for drawing and in the next um, movie I will create something to draw to demonstrate that